Hi everyone, I'm going to show you how to record what you're doing on your Apple Watch so that you can share it either to teach someone something or maybe it's for fun or maybe you just want to keep it for yourself. But anyway, I'm going to show you how to record it. You probably know that you can actually take a snapshot of something on the screen by holding the digital crown and the side button together and then that ends up in your photos on your iPhone and then if you're connected to the cloud then that goes through to all of your other devices, your Mac, your iPad and whatever else you might have as well. So that's really easy to do. Now if you want to record what you're doing on the screen you're actually going to do it via the mobile phone through your iPhone. Now the thing to know is make sure your iPhone and your Apple Watch are up to date, got the latest, so I'm using WatchOS 10 and I'm using iOS 17 and with both of those and with Bluetooth and Wi-Fi all connected you'll be able to do this. Now you may have already recorded something on your phone before by recording on the screen. Now what you can do here is just swipe down from the top and you'll see over here you've got your record button. Now if I tap that it's going to record it but I want to record the audio as well so I want to make sure that my microphone is switched on. So in this case I'm just going to tap and hold and I've already got the microphone on. I switched it on earlier. I can switch it off and then switch it back on. So just so you know you should always check this because if you haven't used it for a while or maybe later in the day it's actually switched itself off. So just always make sure that your microphone is on there microphone's on, I'm going to hit start recording. You can see I've got my countdown at the top. That's now recording. I'm going to go to my settings. I'm going to scroll down there. It is accessibility. That's what I'm after. And you have got Apple Watch mirroring. Okay, so now I'm going to switch on my Apple Watch mirroring. I'm going to tap on it and it's going to connect. Now sometimes I find it doesn't connect always immediately. There's Snoopy having a look at us. That's my watch face. If it doesn't connect it might say that the Bluetooth isn't connected. Make sure your Bluetooth is on and sometimes I find I've got to try this a couple of times. Now on the screen here I can actually just tap on that button there on my digital crown. I can also tap on the side button and if I tap on it again I can go back. I can choose apps so I'm just using my finger to move it all around. I'm going to show you though how to change this display from a grid view to a list view which I personally find more useful because I can find things quicker. So I'm going to tap on settings. There's app view. You can see it's got grid view selected. I'm just going to tap on list view and now I could be doing this on the watch but I'm actually doing it on the phone. Let me just press it on the watch here. Now if I go back to here you can now see that my apps by pressing the digital crown are all listed here as a list view which I actually find a lot easier to do. So there you have it. That's what you've got to do. I'm now going to switch off the mirroring. So I'm going to tap in the top right corner and then at the top you can see it's still recording. It's still got the record there. I'm going to tap that. I'm going to press screen recording. I'm going to switch that off and now what I want to do is potentially edit it. So I need to go to my photos and I can do things like crop and so on. So let's just take a quick look at that. So here's my recording that was in the photos. I can now go into edit and if I whiz along here you can see it's got the Apple Watch. Now I might want to first up just crop everything there so I'm just going to tap on crop and I could potentially just pull this in. I might not want it to see that it's Gary's watch there so that I've got it like that. So that's done. Now if I tap on video I could do things like trim it so that I've got it less of it and I can just move that along just by clicking and dragging so that I've cut out all the bits like it, all the bits that I needed. And then I'm just going to click on done. So I've got the choice to save the video which will overwrite the video that I've got. If I save it as a new clip it keeps the old one so I can go back and make changes if I want, if I wanted to use the original. So let's just save the video. Now the thing is I could actually take that and put it into editing programs such as Final Cut Pro, Final Cut Pro for iPad or Premiere Pro and so on. There's many video editing out there so you can actually do a lot more and incorporate it into other videos which is exactly what I'm going to be doing for this video. Anyway, hope that helps. You can now record what you're doing here on your Apple Watch 
you use your iPhone to do it and you can now share it with people. Speaking of sharing, please do like, share and subscribe and come back for more.